I'm almost 23 and never had a girlfriend. Hi Hamza, I'm 22 years old. I turned 23 in about a month and I have wanted a girlfriend since high school. I've only had sex once when I was about 17 with kissing a few girls since then. I've been in the gym since I was 14 and I've built a pretty good physique, but still struggle with confidence issues because of my gyno. I got gyno during puberty and it makes me feel unappealing or unattractive, causing me to second guess asking a girl out. In my head, I know I just have to get over my fears and just ask girls out, but any advice on this would be much appreciated. I only went on three dates throughout all of 2023. How do I get out of this rut? Yeah, there's quite a lot of things I could say to you, Nikhil, and for other guys who feel like they've just not had enough experience with women. Before that, just scroll down right now and go click on the subscribe button underneath this video. More young men will find this channel when it gets bigger, and that means that you'll end up having more guys that are like this that you can be friends with since we want the message of self-improvement to grow. Let's see some of the comments and I'll give you my advice. He said, forgot to mention, I've also struggled with porn addiction since I was 13 or 14. That's definitely been a contributing factor as well. Ar Aru Nava Navo said, watch Danish's Get a Girlfriend course. So yeah, we've got like a dating course inside of here as well. Stefan said, I would just go out there and approach girls. You could do it in clubs if you want degenerate girls, but I'd suggest approaching them in more wholesome places like libraries or cafes. I'm not saying degenerate hang out there, but you can find high quality girls there as well. If you can't find the confidence for that, get more friends. Imagine you make five friends and some of them are part of a bigger group of friends. Introduce yourself there, make even more friends and join more groups. Eventually you will get into a group with a woman you'll like. Ask her out and you'll have a higher success rate because you have the same friend group. You'll also increase your status because you'll have a vibrant social life. So it's a double win. I had two girlfriends in my life and both of them came from common friend groups. I hope it helps, bro. Caden said, hey, Nikhil, when you say that you approach, you struggle with confidence because of gyno and thus are unable to approach girls, I cannot help but think of a book I read recently, The Courage to be Disliked by Kishimi and Koga. In the book, the philosopher gives an example of a girl who is afraid to ask a boy out because she is embarrassed of how red she gets when she blushes. She told the philosopher in a counseling session that once her fear of blushing was cured, she'd confess her desire to be with him. Sounds pretty straightforward, but the philosopher had a different opinion for why she wouldn't confess her desire. Why did she have, why did she get this fear of blushing and why hadn't it gotten better? Because she needed that symptom of blushing. She was ultimately afraid of being rejected by the man, but as long as she has the fear of blushing, she can go on. I can't be with him because I have the fear of blushing. She needed to accept herself now. Um, this is called encouragement. This is a long comment, bro. You need courage, courage to accept who you are. Next thing I'd say is, why do you even care? No, seriously, is this a genuine desire for you to have a girlfriend or is it because your mom or dad asked why don't you have a girlfriend or is it because all of your friends have girlfriends and you don't? I'll give you my point of view. Love is not a freaking rush. I believe love and connection to the opposite sex is a gift from God and, and not to be sought after like you're in error as long as you don't have it. Why in the world would the pursuit of women, which I believe is ultimately for the purpose of marriage and then to build a beautiful family be something to rush? Why do I want a woman? What is the purpose of the union between a man and a woman? Yeah, this is a very good comment. That's the first thing I noticed with this post up here. He said, I've wanted a girlfriend since high school. When guys say that, I always straight away lose respect for them. Because I just think like, what kind of man says that? Like, oh, I want a girlfriend. I remember I had a friend in... Um, in high school or in college who said this to me and I, I always just found it weird it's like if there was a particular girl you had a crush on and you wanted to make her your girlfriend okay makes sense just saying i want a girlfriend is like it's so needy like you don't even know who you're talking about what kind of woman you're talking about you just want this i don't know either you want this status symbol next to you you want this girl to be your friend so that you can act like the traumatized boy next to her you want you know other people to see that you've got a girlfriend or you just want to have like you know get some ejaculation going 
I find this mindset so weird when guys say they want a girlfriend. Like saying like, oh, I'd like to be married in the future. Saying that, oh yeah, I'd like to get into a great relationship. Kind of makes sense. But it's just this this concept of like, I want a girlfriend. I don't care who she is. I just want one. That's, it's just so sad. It's so cringe. And I, I understand why you're like this. Because obviously you're, you're desperate at this point. How do you get out of this rut? I would personally believe you're not going to get out of this rut whilst you feel like this because if you try and speak to any women you're going to be repulsive if you if you have this this kind of mindset when you go and speak to a girl that is so unattractive to them they want to know that you are this man who is capable who is enjoying his life who's having a fun life and you do not symbolize this at all. So the first big piece of advice I want to give you is first of all, change your mindset. Don't think to yourself, I want a girlfriend. Think to yourself, I want to meet a really awesome girl who meets my high standards. There's a difference. And the way you navigate that relationship will change. Now, secondly, here's how to actually get a girlfriend. Most guys struggle getting girlfriends because they are boring as fuck. You do nothing. I guarantee all you do is either go to work or school, go to the gym, watch YouTube videos, and then go to sleep. Your life is literally like boring. Like you would have been considered to have like depression 50 years ago. Your life is boring. You have no close male friends. Maybe there's like some random kid you go to the gym with, but you don't actually do anything social. When was the last time you like dressed up nice in like a fresh clean shirt, got a fresh haircut, met like a group of guys and all went for like dinner and flirted with the waitress or something. Like if you're not doing fun stuff as a guy, it's very hard to meet a girl who wants to join your life because girls just want to have fun. And if you're there, like literally just in grind mode, it's very hard for a girl to like take you seriously because she wants to see you, for example, well dressed with your high status group of guys in a really like uh, upscale restaurant or a fancy restaurant. She st- wants to see you doing fun stuff with a gr- like a group of friends and there's some attractive women in there. She wants to see you do adventurous stuff, exploring, traveling. Most men do none of that and then think, why doesn't a girl want to join my life? Because she would have to be bringing the fun to you. Most girls have plans. This is why most girls like, like they genuinely are busy for many days of the week because they've got girlfriends. They've even got like male friends friends that they'll go and do fun stuff with of of course you don't want to go with male friends but i'm just saying like most girls have like a fun schedule and they won't date a guy who's less fun than them very very often they won't right so when i said like when i saw this advice i was thinking that's such good advice you need to go and do some shit man you need to go and do some shit so it's not that you need a girlfriend you first need some fucking friends to begin with and not just like the one autistic self-improvement guy that you go to the gym with that's awesome that you've got that friendship what you need is a group of high status men they all dress nicely and then you all need to go and do some like high status activities together go to restaurants go to bars go to cafes even go like doing it fitness stuff exploring expeditions whatever but you need to have like some kind of fun life that a woman is gonna see and think damn i want to join that if your life is literally work or school gym consume content and go to sleep women are already doing that exact same thing almost every girl in the world is doing the exact same thing these days and all, the only thing you do which is special is like go to the gym but that's not even special anymore every guy every girl is start, starting to go to the gym these days you need something like once a week meeting your friends and go into somewhere you need to first of all have some fucking friends to go with so that's the real constraint right now it's very hard to meet like a quality attractive non like autistic girl if you are living this autistic self-improvement life this is why I suggest when you get onto self-improvement just go and do the Adonis protocol because with that you'll actually improve your social skills the Adonis protocol is the top link in the description it's completely for free it's inside of Adonis gang click on classroom click on Adonis protocol and if you follow this and you go about self-improvement this way you'll actually become more attractive to girls because most guys do it the wrong way if you follow self-improvements like this you do the weekly adventures you've got you're doing fun shit that like that will actually mean that girls will want to join your life that's like point number two you've got to have somewhat of a fun life you've got to be adding these things in not just because you know she might be seeing this and you you know you'll do it when you meet the girl but just like doing them right now because how do you think you meet girls by the way you do fun stuff and that's where the girls are so imagine right now you're in grind mode you go to school or work but it doesn't really feel like there's many girls you can speak to you come home you eat your pre-workout meal there's no girls you can speak to there 
you go to the gym. There's sometimes a girl that you can speak to there, but let's be honest, maybe you cold approach like a couple of girls a month, so it's, the volume isn't much. Then you come home, you consume content, and there was no other way for you to get girls other than fucking Instagram and Tinder. And those things can be helpful, but when you're a low status young man, you're not rich or famous, it's very hard to use Instagram and Tinder to like get like a great amount of high quality women. Obviously, when you've got 100,000 followers or 500K or 1 million, it's a lot easier. Or when you're really attractive, when you're a chad, it's a lot easier. But basically, you, as a young man, most young men are not coming across women. It's as simple as that. You're not coming across women. The girls you follow on Instagram don't follow you back. Or the girls you try and send a message on Instagram don't follow you back. You get a couple of matches every like week on Tinder. And most of them don't even reply back. And if they do, the conversation dies. The reason why is because you are boring. What you need to do is get out into the fun. You know, when you go onto a girl's Instagram and you see the type of places that she's been going to, these bars, these restaurants, this thing, this thing, this party, this thing. If you and your male friends start going to these fun places, what you'll find is that you'll see groups of attractive girls that are there, that are single, that are looking to date because they like to go to fun places. So as a man, most of your time should be spent building up your life. But I think once a week going out into some kind of like weekly adventure, weekly social night, I think is absolutely fine. I think it's actually part of your self-improvement protocol. Once a week, get your friends, dress up as nice as you can and go to like the, one of the best restaurants that you can afford. Go into the, the big city and go into like the fanciest hotels and get coffee together and act like you're sophisticated. I think that's part of your self-improvement program. Do that and you'll literally notice the women around you are there having a good time and then it makes it so easy when you've just had like this social evening let's say with your friends you've been laughing joking whatever you know you've been like get, um talking shit with each other and the group of girls next to you you end up look like you know wh whilst you're kind of mid conversation with one of your guys you notice like the girls are next to you looking at you it's so much easier to be able to talk to them and, and quickly say like hello to them and introduce them and stuff than it is if you're just in your autistic self-improving monk mode period where you're just like you know not speaking to any other human being i'm telling you it's very hard to be in monk mode and attract a girl when you're on adonis protocol and you're weak, like going out every week and doing some kind of adventure it's so much easier easier it's so much better for you to be able to integrate into the world so that's point number two just do some fun shit and, and a prerequisite to that is most likely you need at least one cool male friend again not just another autistic self-improvement guy unless he's transitioning into this you need the kind of guy who's on self-improvement but not like the autistic monk mode version where he's like oh i don't even care about girls bro you want the kind of guy who's on self-improvement who's on adonis protocol vibe where he realizes the power of going out once a week and doing something social and he actually wants to come with you and he isn't like a complete embarrassment to be around this is why i want more men to find these kinds of videos so that you can make friends like this you and at least one friend maybe even two or three or four friends go out and do something once a week which is like a high status thing not just like a dirty monk mode self-improvement thing but more like okay we're all gonna dress up and do something that's a huge huge improvement to your life because one you'll meet girls when you go to these places but two you'll naturally end up taking pictures getting stories and that will make you more of an attractive man the way you come across when you're next speaking to a girl will be so much better than how it is right now these are the prerequisites you need to do before you even consider getting a girl friend now let's talk about gyno you've said you've got confidence issues because of your gyno i got gyno during puberty and it makes me feel unappealing or unattractive causing me to second guess asking a girl out yeah i had the the same thing i never really second guessed asking girls out i was just scared of escalating to sex and taking my shirt off and so what i used to do is i'd take my shirt off at the same time as like punching uh pinching my nipples like kind of like conveniently I'd, I'd take my shirt off whilst like pinching my nipples at the same time and when you pinch your nipples you've got like 30 seconds where they don't look horrible and so i'd kind of have that as like the first impression of my body that the girl would see but even then it was like it, it was such a mental disorder like it constantly took me out of the present moment and so I got surgery and I haven't looked back at all. So my advice to you, Nikhil, and for anyone else, save up the money to go and get surgery. Maybe you can't afford it for a few years, but just save up the fucking money because the ROI is powerful. Not just because it makes you more attractive and being attractive is important in the modern day, but because it will literally save a lot of your brain's power which means that you can then go and make more money like when you're more confident you'll make more money and also for the the sort of unmeasurable 
part of life, like human connection to each other. If you're thinking about your gyno when you're about to be intimate with a woman, you can tell that that's not going to be like good for your life. And so you're going to get a mental health boost from it as well. I am bullish on young men getting gyno surgery. Just go and fucking get it. Go and find like a nice place nearby. It cost me like about five thousand pounds, which I could very easily afford back then. All of these places have like payment plans and shit, and like but get this instead of a fucking car when you're like twenty years old. Really, it's like it's definitely worth it. So save up for it. If you're in some like third world country, then the surgery there will be cheaper. But obviously, the the quality of doctors is probably worse. I went to like a really high quality place in. Um, I wonder if I can find it for you. Actually, it was like Newton uh, Lee Willow. Those, um, fuck, what was it? Uh, plastic search. Let's have a look if it comes up. Yeah, this one here. I went to Pall Mall Medical, Newton Lee Willows. I went to this one here. I won't click on the link because there's like pictures of titties and stuff on there, but I, I went to this one here and it was a very high quality. I think it was like 5,000 pounds or something done. Um, yeah, it was very, very good. And since then, I've never like had to think about my nipples. I take my shirt off. The scarring is minimal. No one's ever even noticed the scars or anything. And for like my closest people, like my family, my girlfriend, like they they would say like, oh yeah, you know, it looks a little bit better. But everyone tells you like, oh yeah, it's not even that bad, bro. It's not even that bad, bro. But if you think it's bad, that's enough. So there's a video that I actually have on my main channel right now. You can go and find it if you just search like Hamza. Uh, titty surgery <laughs> Hamza titty this one here why I got titty surgeries and man so this is my fucking gyno camasti. this is just one of them there was another tray with another one uh, another block of like mass like that so just go and um, go and watch that video as well where I talk about why I got it and it was 100% worth it 100% just go and get the surgery man just go and save up for it I always thought when I was young like I never considered it and I don't really know why I think just because it was like I always figured like oh no it's not worth it it's too expensive whatever but I'm telling you right now like I'm giving you permission and I'm making you bullish for this it's absolutely worth it 100% it is so just save up the money get the payment plan if you need to and go and get it because it's just it's not a good way to live your life when you have some kind of insecurity that you can basically remove for like a few thousand pounds to spend a few thousand pounds to stop us insecurity is very good. And if the insecurity is one that's come from the sick modern world, it's come from estrogenics, it's come from plastics, then fuck yeah, get it out. Do you know if it was like some natural thing, you know how like some people are obsessed with like uh, their, um, their nose shape or something. Like I got my ear surgery as well. Like the left ear used to stick out. And when I was getting it done, I was actually thinking like, oh, I kind of regret it actually, because like, I'm pretty sure I was born with this ear. And I was like, yeah, like I knew I'd be more attractive if I had like even ears, like because one used to stick out and one didn't. And so whilst I was I was getting ear surgery, I was, I was almost like regretting it at the time. But I remember literally thinking like, whilst the doctor's like fucking drilling into my ear, thinking I don't regret the gyno surgery at all because it was not genetic. It was not natural. You weren't born with gyno. This was the sick modern world that's literally put like fucking chemical plastic toxins inside of you and it's stored up in titty mass. That needs to be taken out. It needs to be ripped out, surgically removed as soon as possible that is not the real you so i would highly suggest being bullish on getting the the surgery and you went on three dates in 2023 um yeah just follow the advice man honestly like i, I think so many guys over obsess over like oh i need more muscle i need to be more attractive like you don't need more muscle you don't need to be more attractive it's it's crazy how a man who could look like this like a fucking chad basically can end up feeling like insecure and, and struggling to speak to women i think the the number one thing you need as a prerequisite before getting a girlfriend attracting girls you need a fun group of guys that just makes you into such a better partner you you navigate life with women so much better so go and do that first and then go and f you'll just naturally find women. So that's my advice to you. For everyone else who's watching this, you want a supportive community, just go click the top link in the description right now and that'll send you to Adonis Gang, which is our free community. And inside of here, you have the Adonis protocol that you can go and take for free. It's time to man up and do the work. Mwah.